Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBROLabs. For more information, visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the source code and model of Simlink programs uh, from that website. In this particular video, we will talk about how to generate uh, random binary sequence uh, of 1 and 0 in MATLAB. It is uh, quite important uh, for doing simulations in the case of uh, digital communication techniques like uh, if you want to simulate frequency shifting then you need to have uh, some random binary sequence so that you can demonstrate how the frequency is being shifted based on uh, <coughs> bits uh, or based on the binary sequence of the input signal okay. type simulink and let's create a new model because we want to generate uh, a random binary sequence so let's select a binary random binary generator random generator random number generator let's make it big and now we will compare it with the threshold value so if the random number is below threshold then that will be zero and if the random number is above threshold the number will be converted to one so if we double click on it uh, we have say the mean and variance based on that and sample time this sample time is important this sample time is important in a sense that it defines uh, what should be the width of the bit stream uh, in signal suppose uh, we want to say okay there should be a 10 samples in one width because we are dealing with the digital technique so obviously it is not like one all the countries time there will be sampling instance so there should be if we say okay there should be 10 samples in one bit then that sample time should be 0 0.1 and at the same time go to the configuration box and set this uh, fixed step and 0 0.01 so now this 0 0.01 acts as a sampling rate and uh, this uh, sample time is uh, the sampling rate of uh, generation rate of this uh, random number so it is like the number of samples being generated in one second from this random number will be 10 simply divide uh, 0 0.1 divided by sampling frequency that was 0 0.01 so you will get 10 and we will also look at uh, how many samples are being generated and now we will compare it so we'll go to the logic and bit operators and then compare to zero and simply connect it now uh, if double click on it we have an option boolean type as well as of unit 8 type so it depends like boolean type it will give you uh, the data output in a true and false form suppose in further uh, your system requirement of some numbers then you should change it to the unit 8 okay and now we need scope and that's it because uh, we can also um, transfer this uh, all the signals to the MATLAB workspace so let's say connect to out1 Now that's it. Now let's run it. Now double click on this scope. Yeah. Your random number has been generated. We double click on it. Like we do put our scale. Instead of auto scale, I think we should change the axis property. So I should go 0 to 2. Okay. apply and ok so uh, let's say we can also have at the same place we can also put a max there to see how the number is being and 
let's run it again okay it's logical and there's a data time mismatch comparison there's a miss uh, mismatch of the data type because uh, it is taking a double and we are providing a unit 8 so let's change it uh, instead of this let's put an additional axis to the one and I hope this may work but it doesn't work that means we need to yeah now so what it is doing these are the random generator random numbers which have been generated and the numbers which are above zero that has been converted to uh, which are below zero that have been converted to zero and uh, which are greater than one that has been converted to one so which are less than zero that have been converted to one we can also change the sequence like opposite so number which are greater than zero that are one less than zero that have been transferred to zero and now so let's see uh, how this bit stream is look like so this y out provides us the link and if we go through this and in this there's one two three and four these four numbers are for uh, making this zero uh, greater than zero so each one uh, each one number or uh, if uh, you go through it each number is for of the duration of 10 samples so one two three four so obviously for one this one there are four binary ones are there so if there are four binary ones that means we up to 40 we should be having one one that's it so that means there are four ones there because for single bit it is representing by 10 numbers uh, or we can say uh, by the 10 samples we can change this sampling interval let's say we change it to one so now obviously 100 samples uh, will be represented by one and now let's see how it looks like so and they are one two three four so it's uh, looks something better like for four seconds we are getting one so there are four ones are there so it uh, the symbol will be this signal will be read it as one 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 zero one 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 or you can change uh, the sampling frequency of this random number based on your application like uh, how much uh, bit uh, length you actually require near in your work so i hope you have understand it how to generate this uh, random binary sequence in matlab simulink and uh, it is uh, very important to understand the difference between this sample time and this uh, this sample time only then you will be able to generate uh, the sequence perfectly and your uh, complete system on the simulink or complete model will work perfectly so I hope that's it for this video. Thank you.